What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be ripping a box of 1987 Donruss baseball. Of course, we're looking for Bo Jackson, Mark McGuire, Greg Maddox, um, rookie cards. Um, and of course, some notables, Nolan Ryan, uh, Jose Canseco, Don Mattingly. All right, so I got this box off eBay. Uh, fingers crossed that it wasn't uh, a repack. So let's... Let's start ripping. When I was growing up, the 1987 Donruss was definitely my favorite set besides the 1987 Tops. We have Mike Heath, Dave Valley, there's an Oral Hershiser, Tom Neenfeuer, John Denny, Randy Bush from my Minnesota Twins, Joe Cowley, Ken Dixon, there's a Benito Santiago. Looks like a little bit of corner wear. We'll throw him up on the stage. Mike Mason, Kirby Puckett from my Minnesota Twins. Mike Kukro, Dave Winfield, originally from Minneapolis, Minnesota. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me um, greatly with the content and want to know what you guys want to see. Uh, Joe Necro, John Crook, Scott Bradley, John Candelaria, Steve Sachs, got a checklist, Schofield, Atherton, Dodson, Fabian, Don Robinson, hmm. Craig Reynolds, Stoddard, and a Randy Myers rookie. These packs are pretty easy to open, so it kind of makes me think Possibly these packs have been gone through, which is not good. We'll see. There's hardly any um, adhesive on the wrapper itself. If you guys notice something about it, if there's a card flip or something that I'm missing, uh, let me know in the comments. Now we'll throw Pete, Pete Rose up on the stage. You know, Burt Blylev in Hall of Famer. But just to show how easy it is for these to open. And also it could be the glue is just aged, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we pull any Bo Jacksons or McGuire's out of here. Cards seem to be in good shape. Just kind of notice how this is wrapped. If anybody can tell me if this is a factory wrap or if you think this is also a pre-wrap. Or somebody has gone through these packs and have rewrapped them. Really so far. That P Rose looks a little off centered. The Santiago actually looks pretty good, but it does have a corner ding. When I was a kid, I actually framed the uh, the puzzle pieces once I got all the pieces. There was one pack already that had a flip in it. The other packs have not. Remember Benito Santiago is one of the cards to get back in 87. Cal Daniels. I do have started a collated set of, see how this pack, this pack, I don't know, it's really hard to tell.
There's a Fernando Valenzuela. Another Cal Daniels. Again, these are almost all commons. There's a Donnie Baseball. One of my favorite players growing up. John Cruck. His last at bat. I believe he's playing for the White Sox. And uh, he hit a single, got to his lifetime average at 300, and then left the stadium and said he retired and was home before the game ended. Jim Rice again. That matting really looks pretty good. Might be a little off. We'll check it here in a minute just to see. But it looks like it's probably 80 20. If I'm just eyeballing it. A Mike Schmidt, there's a Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken. So a Mike Schmidt, Wade Boggs, Cal Ripken, all in the same pack. So we'll take down Benito, set him off the side. We'll take down Mr. Rose. We'll put up Wade Boggs. And we'll put up Cal. There's a Jose Canseco Diamond King, badly off-centered. There's a George Brett. There's a Hall of Famer. Just to look at this Jose Canseco, you can see how badly off-centered that is. Corners are sharp. Pat Dodson, rookie. There's a Raphael Palmero. We'll throw him up. There's a Reggie Jackson. Put him off the side. Hall of Famer. Last box I bought from a flea market, and I pulled two Bo Jacksons out of the wax box, which was pretty unusual. No McGuire's, no Conseco's, no Mattingly's. There's a Nolan Ryan, a little off centered. Devon White, he was another one back in the 80s we were looking for. Well, that corner is really nicked up. Harold Baines, Corey Snyder was another one everyone was talking about back in the mid to late 80s. There's a Jose Canseco. So we'll bring down, we'll bring down Raphael and we'll throw up Jose. Corners look really sharp on this. It doesn't look too bad. Eddie Murray. Sorry for the glare on the light. I just put a new LEDs in this room up, up top, and now it's causing a glare up on the cards. Joe Necro. Dennis Eckersley. See, here we have a card flip. 
which I wasn't experiencing in other packs. I think that's the second pack I've had a had a card flip in. So I'm not sure. See, this pack seems factory. Eric Davis, Barry Larkin. See if we can't get a Bonds out of here. Or Pat Dodson. It's almost like you know people are gonna repack these. They put just enough you know, stars in there. They put some of the off-centered cards in there just to you know after they pick through them and repack them. Unless it's a there's a Bobby Bonilla. Unless it's a box that's certified, you know, you really don't know what you're going to get, who you can trust, which is pretty sad. About halfway through the through the box here, kind of ripping it kind of fast to get through these. I think that's the third Fernando Valenzuela. I think that's like the third Cassie Candelay we've come across. To be able to get three Bo Jacksons or three Bobby Bonds out of this. Has anyone had any experiences with tampered wax boxes? Again, I know it's kind of the luck of the draw when you're buying off of eBay and it's not a certified box. There's another Reggie. I think I paid $72, I think, for this box. Kurt Gibson. Another Benito Santiago. Yeah, kind of getting down to the bottom of this. You know, looks like we got another Don Mattingly on the back of this pack. So we got two Mattingleys out of here. Throw him on top of the other. I've got a 84 Tops Mattingly rookie at PSA right now. Hopefully get that back, hopefully in June. There's Kirby Puckett. Still no Bonds, still no Maddox, still no Bo Jackson, still no McGuire. There's another Jose. Another Eddie Murray. Daryl Strawberry on the back. And our third Don Mattingly, Paul Molitor. Daryl Strawberry, second year card. I think we've got about six packs left. Ruben Sierra. Mike Greenwell, some of those bigger names back in the 80s that we were really in Georgia Prep. Really taunted as 
the up and coming players. I thought that was a saw the Barry and the Pirates and the wrong player. All right, we are down to the last four packs. Not looking good. Three packs to go. Still no big cards out of this box. Well, we got another Jose on the back here. Another Reggie. Another Jose up there. One. All right, last pack. Please let there be a Bo Jackson, a Barry Bonds, a Mark McGuire in here. All right. See, we got a card flip. Unusual. And that's it. So out of there, we got three Donnie Baseballs. Got a Wade Boggs. We got a Cal. And we got three Jose's. Take a closer look at these later this evening and see if any of them might be worth sending off to be graded. Ah, so, all right. Again, if you haven't already liked or subscribed to my channel, please do so. It greatly um, boosts my confidence in making these videos, and then I can keep uh, buying boxes and put them out there. So until then, we'll see you then.